Welcome back. We are rounding with decimals and now we're going to round to the nearest tenth. And to the nearest tenth, and let me emphasize on that tenth, that means to one decimal place, yeah? Because the place value, uh, those are my units, those are my tens, my hundreds, and my thousands. And again, I emphasize on that because I am Dutch and I have major issues uh, pronouncing the English uh, language properly. Anyway, so to the nearest tenth, that is to one decimal place. All right, and it follows the same path then as rounding with whole numbers. Yeah, so my tenth, that is the five, I go to the appropriate place value, it's the five, and it either stays a five or goes up to a six, yeah, uh, and it depends on the next number, which is less than a five, yeah, so it's gonna stay 0 0.5. Now have a look at my previous videos yeah, about rounding perhaps with whole numbers where I really explain why this will be 0 0.5. Anyway, these are the example questions to the nearest tenth, so one decimal place. I go to the correct place value, that's my tenth. A three, now it either stays a three or it goes up to a four when it's a five or higher, that's my next number. Is it a five or higher? Yes, it is. So the three will go to a four. So it's gonna be 12.4. The next question, to the nearest decimal, uh, one decimal place, the nearest tenth. So it's a five, and it either stays a five or it goes up to a six, that depends on the next one. It's a five, so then we've said, well then we'll go up yeah, a five or higher it will go up 70.6 therefore and the last one one decimal place so the nine and the nine either goes up to a ten or it stays a nine and depends on the next one which is a seven so the nine does go up yeah and now be careful the nine goes to a ten so you carry the one of the ten to the next place value so to one decimal place this is one Point zero, and I want to emphasize upon that because you have to write that point zero down. You cannot say, well, 1.0 is the same as one. No, because you are correcting to one decimal place. And this is more accurate than if you just would have said it's one. Yeah, this is 0 0.972 to one decimal place. You have to write down one point zero. That will be the correct answer. All the best. Look at the next video where we're going to round to the nearest hundred.